Garden. Let's go to PA announcer Eddie Palladino. Fans, direct your attention to center court for the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy and the 2022 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Please welcome ABC's Lisa Salters. Thank you. Here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the Golden State Warriors, to team owners Joe Lacob and Peter Guber, and head coach Steve Kerr, is NBA Deputy Commissioner Mark Tidd. Thank you so much, Lisa. What a phenomenal series and a great way to cap off the 75th NBA anniversary season. To the fans of Boston, the Bay Area, and fans around the world, thank you all for being a part of it. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics, the Eastern Conference champions, on a terrific season. And now the Golden State Warriors, six NBA Finals in eight years, four NBA championships, a remarkable run by any measure that only a handful of teams in the history of NBA have accomplished. To Joe Lacob, to Peter Guber, to Coach Kerr, to Bob Myers, to all you great players, the coaches, and the entire Golden State Warriors organization, congratulations. You are the 2022 NBA champions. trophy again I mean it means the world I, I just want to give all the credit to these players and these coaches this is probably the most meaningful one because we came back the last two years were very difficult and what they've had to go through the injuries fantastic and I love every one of them for what they've done Peter let me ask you as you watch this team throughout the season what to you made it so special Makes it special. They never give up, never give in, go all the way. On the parquet floor, two Boston guys win it at the Garden. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Coach Kerr? Four championships, Steve, in the last eight seasons with the same core guys. What does that say about this group? Uh, well, number one, it says that the guy who put together this group did an amazing job, and I, I'd like Bob Myers to be recognized. He never gets enough credit. Bob, come on up. He's the guy who put the team together. Bob, it's not easy. It's not easy to repeat success, to keep everyone happy, uh, to keep the gang together. Just how have you been able to do that with this team? Well, you know, you didn't ask this, but I want to thank all our wives and kids. It is not easy supporting us all year long, but it's the players. It's Steve, it's the players, it's Joe for supporting us. Um, I'm thankful, Lisa, to just have been with these three guys basically my whole career. So it's a, it's a blessing every day. Congratulations to you. And I have one more for you, Steve. This is now your ninth ring. Ninth ring. Five as a player, four now as a coach. Uh, these journeys are always imperfectly perfect. Where do you rank this journey? This might be the most unlikely one of all, um, but I've just been blessed. I, I hang around superstars. If you hang around superstars, good things happen. And that guy Curry, wherever he is, there he is right there. Go talk to him. He's the reason for all this. All right, thank you, Steve. Congratulations. Now let's bring back Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum to present the 2022 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Thank you, Lisa. He's a four-time NBA champion, a two-time league MVP, a member of our 75th anniversary team, and for the first time ever, he's an NBA Finals MVP, the 2022 Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award goes to Stephen Curry. Oh, Stephen! Whoa, 
Steph, it's been a lot of talk about this. What does it mean to you to finally get this finals MVP? It means we won. It means we uh, took advantage of the opportunity getting back here. And I mean, I hear all the conversations. I hear all the chatter. We hear all the chatter. At the end of the day, it's about what we do on the floor. I ain't got to talk about it. Just got to go do it. And uh, that's what this is about. You said it during our post-game interview just three seasons ago. You guys had the worst record in the league. At what point did you believe that you could be back up here on this stage? You always had a doubt, but you know how long the road is to, to, uh, to get back here because of how hard it is to win on this level. Boston's a great team. Every team we played in the West is great teams. But we found a way to just get it done. And uh, everybody on the stage had a part in this, from the front office, coaches, players. At the beginning of the year, what were they saying? We weren't even on the radar. And now we're here with two trophies, and it means a lot. It means a lot. Every championship journey is different. How would you describe how would you describe this one? Just combining our championship pedigree and our experience with some fresh energy, some guys that are really hungry to take their next step. Uh, but we've built this for 10, 11 years. And that means a whole lot when you get to the stage because you know how to win. And everybody who's been a part of this knows what that's about. So this is uh, this one hits different. This one hits different for sure. Congratulations to you, Steph. Where's Clay? Come on up here, Clay. Clay, after everything that you have been through in the last three years, what does it feel like to be a champion again? Oh, man. I mean, two years off, it wasn't really off. Watching the finals and the playoffs last couple years would kill me. And just to be back on this stage, I'm so thankful for my teammates. The start they had this year, 18-2, and two, it really laid the foundation for what was to come. And it's crazy. I'm on, a, I'm on cloud 109 right now, at least. I don't even know what to say. The, the times that you told us that it was hard to see this, when your foot was in a cast, when your leg was atrophied from surgery, how were you able to push through to focus on what could be getting back here? Well, uh, I had to have my big bro talk me off the ledge a few times. I couldn't drive. I couldn't do nothing. I was immobilized. And I'm such an athletic person. I love to be mobile. And he would just tell me, patience, patience. It's going to all pay off. Shout out to Seth as well, my little bro Trace. I mean, there were some dog days. There was a lot of tears shed on the bench. S Steph talking me, talking me right, and even Draymond, and just leaning on those guys. Andre, I'm just thankful to be here, man. This is crazy, Lisa. I can't even believe it. I knew it was a possibility to see it in real time. Holy cannoli. This is crazy. Holy cannoli. What do you think you'll remember most about this journey? About the journey? Probably the dog days in Santa Cruz. It was me and Wise down there. We was playing a lot of pickup. I was getting busted up by our G League team, and I had to take it on the chest. I knew it would pay off. So to be here again is, I'm so proud of every single person in this organization. This is crazy. And shout out to my Bahamian family in Nassau watching, my family in Vancouver, Washington. I love y'all. Can't wait to celebrate you guys, with you guys this summer. Congratulations to you, Clay. Draymond, where are you? special kind of love thing going on. Just what does it mean to get this title here in this building? It means a lot. Uh, this, this, this fan base gave me a hard time, really hard time. And to come here and get a win is awesome. I appreciate this fan base. They, they brought incredible energy. Got to give kudos to them. But we did what we do. Welcome back to the Warriors Invitational, baby. It's what we do. Welcome back. You had a lot of personal ups and downs in this series. What do you think you learned about yourself in this series? I didn't learn anything about myself. I've been knew I was resilient. Maybe they thought otherwise, but I've been, I, I, nobody, nobody gave me this. I had to work every second of my life to get to this point. So I didn't learn much, but I'm a four-time champion with my brothers. You guys all, you all wanted this so much for Clay. How come? I mean, you watch what he went through the last two years, and it's, you know, it's, it's no surprise we sucked when he was out. And, you know, for him to battle back, come back January 9th, 
All the talk, he can't move, he's washed, he's this, he's that. My brother's a champion. That guy there, Clay, he don't lose. And we needed him back to do this. He's back, we back. It's a beautiful thing. Congratulations to you, Draymond. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew Wiggins. This is something that you have dreamt about your entire life. How does the reality that you are now a champion, how does that compare? God, glory to God. You know, this is a dream come true. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here without my teammates and, you know, everyone around me. So I'm just enjoying the moment. I'm loving it. Why were you such a perfect fit for the Golden State Warriors? Uh, I want to win. You know, that's what they do here at Golden State. They win. Uh, so, they, you know, they brought me along and, you know, we're now we're winning together and I'm just happy to be here. When you first got traded, you told me that you were... <laughs> when you first got traded, you told me that you were just so much looking forward to learning from Draymond and Steph and Clay about what it takes to be a champion. What do you think you learned? It's hard. You know, this is every day. You know, every day is hard work, preparing yourself. What we're doing in November, you know, December, January, that prepares us for this moment in June. Um, so I'm thankful for, for those guys. Congratulations to you, Andrew. You are an NBA champion. Thank you. Congratulations once again to all of the Golden State Warriors, the 2022 NBA champions and finals MVP, Steph Curry. Congratulations to you all. Mike, back to you. All right, Lisa. You know, Mark, in, in listening to, to Curry and Thompson and Green especially talk, it seems in some ways this one means more than the others. Because we saw the other ones coming. When you think about the progression, when you think about the talent, when you think about the body of work building up during the regular season, this team is loaded with adversity, with trials, with downfalls, with struggling seasons, with injuries, with guys trying to come back. They put it all together. They trusted each other. And quite honestly, are they the most talented team? No, they're the most together team and most committed team. And Jeff, we watch Clay Thompson and and the joy that not just the Warriors have, but seems everybody around the NBA of his return. He's everything that's right about this league. I just love listening to him talk because he's honest, authentic, and he's a really fine player who has superior confidence but he's also got a humility that's admirable that knows it's hard to do what they've done and also what he's done coming back off injury and on with that I love seeing first time champions like Andrew Wiggins who gets to realize a dream after being the number one pick in the draft his maturity his improvement and role acceptance I think is a wonderful thing to watch. Well, their championship DNA showed up when it was needed. They had their struggles, at Mar as Mark mentioned, including the playoffs. Remember that game in Memphis? They were down by 55. But they still know what it takes to win it all. They know how hard it is. And all that experience had them ready for the moments. But then some of the added new faces were so important, like them on Andrew Wiggins. And the Chase Center, come October, will raise another banner. By the way, the Curry, Thompson, and Green amongst the great finals trios in the history of the game. Draymond Green, the last couple of games, got back on track. Wiggins, a spectacular finals in his first NBA finals in Golden State. Back in the throne of the NBA, NBA champions. Much more to come. As the Warriors clinch their fourth title in eight years here in Boston.